welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a little mini Walmart haul and first impression of some new drugstore products. I have been trying out so many like higher end products that I have been like neglecting my drugstore products and I have really been like looking for drugstore makeup and I went to Walmart and I saw a ton of new products that are new to me that I personally have not seen. So I don't know if everything is like brand brand new, but they're definitely new to me and I wanted to pick these products up and try them out for you guys. I am actually wearing all drugstore right now. And if you guys wanna see how I achieve this look and see some new drugstore goodies, just keep watching. Okay, love, so I have my bag right here full of stuff that I got from Walmart. So went to Walmart because I've been looking for new makeup and I went to Ulta and I didn't really see a whole lot. The only thing that I did purchase from Ulta is this palette by Essence. This is the Crystal Ice Eyeshadow Palette and pretty much just like a colorful eyeshadow palette. So the blue and greens are down here and then the more warm tones are up here. There's a couple of brown shades. There's like a red, a yellow. Um, so I do want to use this palette in today's video. And then from Walmart, I got so many things. I'll show you guys the things that I got from L'Oreal. So there are one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So there's five things that I picked up from L'Oreal. I don't know what collection it is, but it's so cute. Like I love the packaging of this. I had a couple other products, but I just went ahead and picked up a bronzer. This is the Bronze Please uh, Sun Powder Face and Body Bronzer. I got the shade 03. I think they had one through four, if I'm not mistaken, but I just picked up number three because I am a little bit tan right now because it is summer. And then I got two of their blushes. I only saw two of them. So I got the one in 11, Blushing in Riviera. And then I got number 12, Blushing in St. Tropez. And these are shimmering blushes. So I don't love shimmer blushes. I love more matte blushes. But I thought these looked really, really pretty. And I really wanted to try them out. And then I saw this, which I had never seen. I had no idea they came out with a translucent powder. So I think this is a newer product, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not new, then I'm super behind. But this is the shade Translucent 916, and it's the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. And there's a good amount of product in here. Let's see, does it say how much is in here? 0.5 ounces, um, but this is a pretty good size. The last thing from L'Oreal is this lip gloss. This is the Glowing Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade 04 Shall We Dance. That's cute. I got a couple things from Wet n Wild. So I got four of their loose highlighters, which I had not seen. So I got the shade I'm So Lit, You Glow Girl. Hustle and Glow, and then All Glown Up. From looking at them in the packaging, I honestly have two favorite ones. So definitely my favorite one is I'm So Lit because it looks like a perfect like champagne-y color. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then I also like Hustle and Glow because it's like a gold shade. And then I also saw a translucent powder from Wet n Wild, which I have never seen. So I don't know if this is new. Um, this is the Photo Focus Translucent Powder, and I do have the Photo Focus Foundation, which I really love. The only thing that I don't like is the smell, but I'm really interested in this. I think they had three other shades from this. They had, like, a banana one, and I believe they had, like, a deep one as well. I just picked up the Translucent one. I got a couple things from Maybelline as well. So I got a sponge. I don't know if this is new, but I just wanted to try it. I saw it and it was like the only one. So I don't know if it's new or it, it's already been out for a while. It has a little point, so I think I'm going to like this for right underneath the eyes. I also picked up their new foundation. This is the Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. And this one has SPF 50. So I'm excited to try this out. I got the shade 220 Natural Beige. I feel like this is like the perfect shade for me. And then I got two Lippies. So I got their Super Stay Ink Crayon. And then the last thing that I got is a concealer. So I got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 
130 light beige. I'm gonna try a few of these products out today and then I think what I'm gonna do on my next video is try out the Maybelline products. So I think I'm gonna leave the foundation for like a foundation review um, which will be coming. I'm gonna go ahead and take my P. Louise base. Just this one. I'm just gonna take my Sigma P88 brush and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Don't really know what I'm doing for today's look. So I think I'm just going to use the base on this side first. And then once I figure out what I'm going to do, I'll do the other eye. So I'm going to start with one eye first. So I think I'm going to start with the light blue, which is called Cool Lotta. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. I wish it was like all matte, but... That's okay. It's just a little bit, so I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. So I'm going to put this all over my crease. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, this palette is a little bit more affordable, so I don't know how these eyeshadows are going to blend. But I'm hoping that the look comes out decent. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this dark blue, which is called Ice Queen. And I'm also going to take some of this, these two blues. I'm going to take the darker blue first. Is this shimmery? I hope not. No. So the dark blue is not shimmery, and I'm just going to add this to my crease to darken this up a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's better. So it is powdery, but not really getting fallout, which is really surprising, especially with an eyeshadow palette that's this um, affordable. And I am actually going to add some to the outer corner right here to make sure it's nice and deep and I'm just using the same brush and the same shade Ice Queen This is a Morphe M169 brush, and I'm going to take the shade Frosty. And I'm going to put that right here next to that darker shade. Ooh, this is really pigmented. And if you get a lot of excess. Okay, this shade is super pigmented. It's actually really pretty. So I'm going to go back into the light shade, the first shade that I used all over my crease. And I'm actually going to put that in my inner corner right here. Okay. This shade is not my favorite shade. I wish I would have put like a white in here. Because... It's not really picking up a lot. I keep having to go back to like add some because it's not really giving me a lot of pigment. I'm going to add a little bit more of that dark shade. I'm just going to add some more to the outer corner right here. So I did use the L'Oreal foundation. I have this shade 
for 65 sand. I'm going to use the Milani concealer. This one's in the shade 130 light beige. And I feel like this is like the perfect shade for underneath my eyes right now. And I love this wand applicator. It's kind of like a paddle applicator of a wand. And I'm just going to go ahead and start concealing. It feels really smooth. does have like that paint smell like the Wet n Wild foundation. I really like their foundation. I haven't used it in a while but I do really like it and this concealer looked really nice so. So that's with no setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and take the powder and I did already put some on the back of this cap right here and I'm just going to take the same sponge and right there and I'm just going to start. So it is mattifying everything. I'm going to put some under my eyes. don't really like baking, um, but I do like taking the sponge that's already damp and applying the powder that way. I hope this doesn't give me flashback, which I am going to test just in case to see. Let me try and use some of these L'Oreal products and see if that works with my skin kind of maybe tone down a little bit of the powder so i'm going to take the bronzer because i always bronze after i do powder it has a little bit of a shimmer which i don't love shimmer bronzers but it doesn't look too bad so we're going to try to make it work i'm going to take this brush have some of the excess this kind of smells a little bit tropical It's definitely bronzy on my face. And then as far as blush, I think I'm going to take the darker one, which is in 12. That is so, so pretty. It's not too shimmery. It looks way more shimmery on the actual pan, but on the cheeks, it doesn't transfer that much. Let me go ahead and finish up the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and take the palette again. So this one right here, and I'm just going to take the same shades that I basically used on my crease. I'm going to take this lip gloss. Ooh, okay. I really like this wand. It's super big. It's like one of those really big, thick wands. Let's swatch the shade on the back. Ooh, this shade looks like a shade I'm going to love. I... Oh my god, this smells really good. So let me go ahead and apply this to my lips. I'm going to try one of the loose highlighters by Wet n Wild. I think I'm going to go in with this one. This one is in the shade um, I'm So Lit. Okay, it kind of disappeared as I was applying it, so let me add some more. So it's kind of disappearing as I'm applying it. It's really pretty, though. So. Don't be afraid to layer this product because I know it looks a little bit 
intimidating, but it's kind of just disappearing as I am applying it. I'm going to add some of this to the inner corner. Oh, yeah, I love that as an inner corner one. That is pigmented. Can you see how pigmented that is? Okay, loves, this is going to be the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me showing you the goodies that I got from Walmart and a little first impression of some drugstore products. I have not tried out new drugstore products in a really long time So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I did really like most of the products and everything was super 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 affordable So that is one of the reasons why I love trying new products from the drugstore I feel like the drugstore has really stepped up their game They have so many new products just like Sephora and like Ulta and like higher end products like there's so many new things coming out so I'm really excited that I got to try out new products and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!